guess whose birthday it is today. Yep. <laughs> this morning, <laughs> Grant selected four random, well, his choosing, not random for him, but <laughs> four random colors um, for me, Lydia here, and Geneva, and of course, himself. Tell me if you can see a common theme here. Here are the four colors he picked out for me. You want, guys want to show yours? These are the sure. four he picked for Lydia. And my four are these one. Okay. And these are my ones. Everyone has at least one green, except Geneva, she doesn't. And like one pink or red. Um, because those are his two favorite colors. So right now what we're doing is we're, we've just swatched them out and we're like practicing blending and you know, doing some thumbnailing. You wanna explain what you're doing? Ah. Grant picked out really good colors for water lilies. And she accidentally ordered, he started a little bit. Yeah, but I wasn't paying attention. Whatever, it's no big deal. Grant, what about you? What are you doing? Um, I'm trying to blow up this balloon, but it's <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant, what are you What are you drawing for the market party? It's a thing that's trying to eat this. Oh, it's a monster. Yeah, it's a monster. So, so what is that's this? That's its mouth. What's this thing right here? It's a self -heart. I told a, you. A no. seer sign. It's where mail goes. Mailbox. Oh, a mailbox. Mail He's been practicing over here, too. I um, I still have to sketch out my drawing, actually. And so do I. I, well, at first I was going to do this, which is a stingray, I believe. And then I decided to do a draft beetle. And I, there was so much space, I just did this. Like, I actually forgot these beetles even existed. Here's what I have. I don't usually use hot pink. Um, but it kind of reminds me of a, like a sort of a sunset thing. He's trying to run away from the mm. the big monsters. Wait, is the mailbox alive? Can it run? It can't. But it's in some... Wait, check. I have to be really careful about that. Anyways. You actually have to move fast to get a clean edge. Well, it depends on how much your paper soaks in. I think I'm, I'm actually doing more blending in this one than the last one. Because the other one needs, I don't know, it just didn't blend as well. I perfected it all. Beetles are so weird. I know, they are so weird. And they're like tiny, tiny little creatures. Do you know how big they are? On the palm of somebody's hand, it was like this big. Yeah, and also they can fly too. It's interesting to see you putting a pink background on an app. Black owl, because pink, I don't know, that type of pink isn't generally a color you use for background. Or anywhere. Or anywhere. <laughs> you, you use it for like blending maybe. The darkness is getting side in here. Mm. In the in the thing. I just could not cover up this right next. It's too small. Later, I wanna do the light pink for the background, because I would want to have water, but yeah. it's not <laughs> part of the challenge. The form of the branch. Every time I draw something for Draw Semper, he's always like, um, draw it with this color and this color. It's always green, and I'm like, uh, but I don't really want to. I have some other colors I'm thinking of doing. He's like, so this is, this is uh, what I'm doing instead. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised um, that he didn't give us more greens, but I purposely did it in a way that he alternated between us, so he would choose one for himself, then choose one for me, then choose one for Lydia, and so on. I'm the only one who doesn't have a green. Yeah, he always was giving you the most different, like he gave you a red and an orange and like a purple one. And we just got like colors. green and pink. Lydia got the most same, yeah. like she got two pinks and two greens. You got yeah. ones that are good for, for blending. The thing nice is, well, like Bailey's thing, it's like some things you won't draw as much, but when you have only a limited amount of markers, this makes it a lot more interesting. That's what it yeah, is. it's nicer because you already know what you want to draw because of all the yeah. colors. Yeah, and it's a bit of a challenge, like you have to work around it a lot. So. Yeah. yeah. It's so dark. This can go in the dark, but it does not have to go in the dark. Colors. I'm almost done my drawing actually, and it's like. Actually, I don't know when we started, but wow, this did not take me very long to do at all. I know, like, I could make another drawing. I should do more, like, four marker drawings. So, what are you doing? I'm doing the naked video. Nick, 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 Nick,
kind of funny word to say, actually. Mm, now yes. that I've randomly said it five times over. When you don't have anything to say, just say something randomly, repeatedly. That's great advice. Great advice. Greatest voice. It feels like this is kind of bound to be like a little bit... Oops. <laughs> I just made a mistake. Uh, no, no. I was just gonna say, it looks like it's gonna be a bit streaky. I should not have worked on the highlight while I'm filming. It's too hard. Explain your drawing. What is it? It's uh, it's not a monster beetle. It's a different kind of beetle. Who's the sauce on? Oh, I think it, you co pink. colored it over. Yeah, well. I'm almost done it. And this really like, like, is my like dark I don't really know what to think right now. You should draw a bit more. Now I'm done. <laughs> I'm adding some texture in the bushes because I just think it makes them look a little more interesting and less uniform. Because before they just, I don't know. I don't know if it'll even look all that good. I'm just going for it. Because sometimes that's just what you gotta do. Here's a mine. The big one is definitely the main focus. There's a a peach background, but yeah. <laughs> Make these sound effects again. Someone help me. I am adding some all the shadows now, and I even added some pink actually to the tree, no. which was never part of the plan. But wow, I did it, and I like it. Some oh. green to it too. So I'm done. I really don't know what to think. I think the background is. Very interesting. And it's the one thing about having only four markers because I use it in the beetle and also for the background, like it's in there. I like it though. It's in there. Yeah. But I do like it. The colors actually go really good together. Yeah. Sorry, it looks like very interesting. It's more unique. Um, because the normal draft beetle is looks a little bit different. I really like the who who markers. Uh, and who -who. the weird name too. Uh -huh. I'm drawing an owl in there. Oh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> so I'm just making everything a bit dark because right now it's just like it's so bright yeah, and like, just like this dark figure there, and yeah. it doesn't just it doesn't really go with the rest of the picture. Yeah, because the rest of the picture is just all you know. It's uh, too happy. Like <laughs> it's too happy. But once you add that shading, it'll look even better oh. and more interesting. It'll go together a little more. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, my brown is dying and it's just not blending at all. So I'm just gonna just, like, pretend these are bushes back here so it doesn't really matter. And I kind of like how that looks. Almost makes more sense than having, like, dark down here, so. Here are the results of our marker party. Lydia one's there. I like how interesting, the, like, the green on the lily, how it goes, like, from darker and then there's this kind of light. I don't know what you call it. I liked how blended it in. Yeah, me too. I love the pink. I must say that color palette does really work well with that. And Grant's abstract art here. Well, it's a monster thing, I think. It looks actually oh, nice. really cool. It's because it's green and because there's so much pink. It looks That's quite good. beautiful. I just like how the colors look together. Grant's good with color palettes. There's oh, Jeeva's yeah. draft beetle. I really like how the orange and purple look together, actually. And the background is kind of interesting because it has, like, a different texture going on there, too. So it kind of separates itself from the beetle itself more. Even though the body and the background color are basically the same, they're different enough that it's not, like, too much of the same. It's too yellow. It's too yellow. The orange is too yellow, according to Grant. And there's my one, of course. <laughs> it looks kind of dark and mysterious now that we've kind of toned down the, the green and pink. The tree's pretty beautiful, but th there has to be leaves on the tree. There has to. Oh, silly mistake. I like how much background it makes everything else stick out. It's, it's not like a normal background. I'm really happy with it. Like, when I first got my color palette, I just, I had no clue what I was going to do. And at first I was just thinking forest, but that just seemed boring to me because, as you might know, I'm not the biggest fan of landscapes. I really like drawing animals. What are your thoughts, Grant? Was that a good marker party? I love drawing monsters, and um, that's really good. 